Hi folks, this is Gabe Security Baron, and today we're looking at the iSmart Alarm Premier Home Security Package. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security systems, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Systems. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. In today's review of the iSmart Alarm Premier Home Security Package, we're gonna go over what are the components of the package, how easy they are to install, the professional monitoring options, the customer support, and finally, the mobile application to make sure that you have everything you need to make the right decision for you and your family. Looking at the first component in our iSmart Alarm home security system is the Cube One. This is your hub, your command center, everything that's gonna control the rest of the peripheral devices with your iSmart Alarm home security system. Now, it doesn't have battery or cellular backup, so you will be out of luck if your Wi-Fi goes out or your power goes out, but on the positive side, it does come with 110 decibel siren, so you can be sure to be heard in the case of an emergency. The next components to be discussed with the iSmart Alarm home security system are the contact sensors. Now, contact sensors work by placing them in the frame of a door or window, and the magnets inside will notify your mobile application if that door or window is opened or closed. So the extent to which they are separated or brought together, it lets you know what's going on in your home. And this is what they look like with the iSmart Alarm home security system. The next component that I wanna go over with the iSmart Alarm home security system is the motion sensor. Now, the motion sensor is pretty reminiscent of all the other ones that we've seen on the market with that white aesthetic, um, and it's generally pretty flush uh, from the top to the bottom, but there are a couple things we wanted to note. One being that if you have a pet, you could get a barrage of notifications if your pet likes to run around because the 20 foot range on the iSmart Alarm motion sensor cannot distinguish between pets and humans. And the second thing has to do with this build quality. I actually pressed in to this device one time and it seems to have been irreparably damaged. I've not been able to get this part to pop back out um, and look the way it did when we first bought it. So that's just a couple of things to keep in mind when looking at the iSmart Alarm motion sensor. The final component that we're gonna talk about today with the iSmart Alarm home security system is the spot camera. Now there is an iCamera Keep Pro camera, which is kind of like the big bro to this, but this is what comes with the Premiere package and we wanna see how well it can do. Now in terms of aesthetics, you know, it's a cute little camera, uh, not too much going for it. It can rotate, it can tilt, it can even stretch a little bit here, but in order to see how well it functions, let's put it to the security baron necessary features test. In our necessary features test, we look for every camera to have stellar video quality, two-way audio, night vision, local and cloud storage, smart platform integration, and artificial intelligence. When it comes to the security brand necessary feature of stellar video quality, the iSmart Alarm Spot camera does not meet the mark. It only has 720 high definition when we like to see at least the industry standard of 1080p, but on the other hand, it does have a 130 degree field of view. So when it comes to the security brand necessary feature of video quality, we give it half marks. Two-way audio is a security brand necessary feature and the iSmart Alarm Spot camera does come with two-way audio and for that we give it full marks. Night vision is a security brand necessary feature and when it comes to the iSmart Alarm iSpot home security camera, we give it full marks for its four infrared LED sensors and a clear night vision picture. Local and cloud storage are security brand necessary feature and with the iSmart Alarm Spot camera, you get both. You get 10 second increments for your cloud storage, or you can throw in a micro SD card and get local storage. So when it comes to security brand necessary features test of local and cloud storage, we give the iSmart Alarm spot camera full marks. Smart platform integration is a security brand necessary feature. And when it comes to the iSmart Alarm spot camera and its integration with both IFTTT and Amazon Alexa, we have to give it full marks for the security brand necessary features test of smart platform integration. Artificial intelligence is a security brand necessary feature, and it typically refers to the capacity of a camera to recognize people, pets, or packages. Now, the iSmart Alarm spot camera does not recognize any of these things. However, it is capable of listening to CO2 and smoke alarms 
and warning you to those effects. So when it comes to artificial intelligence and the iSmart Alarm spot camera, we give it half marks. So now that we've taken out each of the components of our iSmart Alarm Premier home security system, let's talk about that installation process. Now you're gonna to wanna to begin with the mobile application where you make your account and your Cube One. So you'll take out your Cube One, plug in the ethernet adapter, plug in your power adapter, and you're ready to go. Once you sync those two devices, the Cube One and your mobile phone, you're gonna attach each peripheral device. So you're gonna to wanna to begin with your contact sensors. You'll add a contact sensor right there in the mobile application. Then you'll pull out the slip. And when you pull out the slip, it'll activate that battery and your Cube One will recognize it almost immediately. So it's a pretty straightforward process that you go through which each one of your contact sensors and your motion sensor. And then you will of course finally attach your spot camera. All in all, very easy process. I like the way the mobile application facilitates it. And I would say that it took me all in all fewer than 45 minutes. So now that we've gone over the installation process for your iSmart Alarm home security system, let's talk about professional monitoring. You know, at Security Brand, we love to see that 24 seven professional monitoring that makes sure that someone's watching your home at all times. Unfortunately, that is not an option with the iSmart Alarm home security system, and you'll be doing self monitoring through your mobile application. And another thing to add is there is no cellular backup for the iSmart Alarm Home Security System. So if your internet goes out or your power goes out, unfortunately, you'll be out of luck in terms of protecting your home. Moving on from the monitoring options with the iSmart Alarm Home Security System, let's look at that customer support. Now, the ways you get in touch with iSmart Alarm are through their just general online help center, an online form, an email, or you can even call them between the hours of eight and six. Pacific Standard Time. Now, something we want to note is that while this tells us how to get in touch with iSmart Alarm, it doesn't tell us about the quality. So for that, we looked at Amazon first. Now, Amazon gives the iSmart Alarm home security system a 3.4 out of five star rating, which is okay. But if you look at the specific reviews mentioning customer support, you'll note that five out of the seven were negative, with people saying that one, they were calling and not even able to get in touch in the hours that iSmart Alarm said that they would be in office, which is honestly something we've run into here at Security Baron. And then people stating that those customer service representatives were not particularly knowledgeable, which is something to keep in mind. So we were like, let's look at Google. Now Google is actually even worse. They have a 2.6 out of five star rating on Google. And of the five reviews that specifically mention customer support, four of those are negative with many of those reviewers also stating the same issues related to not being able to get in touch with customer support and them not being particularly knowledgeable. The final element that I'll delve into in our review today of the iSmart Alarm home security system is the mobile application. Now, after looking at its customer support, I was really hoping that an iSmart Alarm could persevere here and do a better job. But looking at the reviews in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, I have not much faith left in me. The Apple App Store reviewers gave the iSmart Alarm an average of 2.1 out of five star ratings. And in the Google Play Store, Android users gave it a 2.7 out of five stars. That is pretty terrible, um, to be completely frank with you. However, it's important for you to see it for yourself, so let's check it out on my iPhone 10. So here I am checking out the iSmart Alarm mobile application now. On the control page, you'll note that you have four common modes to look at. You have arm, disarm, home, and panic. Now, if I hit the arm button, you'll hear that it starts to arm and gives you some time. So let me tap on that. And I can just as quickly disarm it. Now, you can add new modes to that if you like, and they'll be placed underneath like so. But generally, you'll have your arm, disarm, home, and panic mode. Now, if I look at monitoring, you can look at the various family members, and you can look at what's going on in your home. So you'll note that my contacts are closed, and 
my Baron Spot motion detector is on. If I go look at my cameras, I have two cameras um, from iSmart Alarm, but we're gonna focus on the one that comes with the package, which is the Spot Alarm. So here you are checking out me on the Spot uh, with your iSmart Alarm in the mobile application. So it's pretty decent. You can note that it doesn't take a long time for it to come up. Uh, there is a little bit of lag, but that could just be a reflection of what's going on um, here today, but it's a pretty good view considering it's just a 720 camera. It's got that 130 degree field of view and it's overall pretty nice. Now finally, I go look at the devices and the devices let you see all the different things that you have connected to your home security system. Now my home security system is called Castle Baron and I could add even more devices if I wanted to. So I have a couple of cameras, I've got the Baron spot motion detector and two of my contact sensors set up along with the hub. So there you are with the log of what I've done with the hub today. Now if I go hit the settings button, you can look at your notifications, you can look at the members attached. I haven't added any more members to my system. You got your home info. I can look at my integrations. I've integrated with Amazon Alexa. So it's useful to have Amazon Alexa integrations. So that's me checking out iSmart Alarms mobile application. All right, here I am checking out the iSmart Alarm spot cameras daytime video quality. Now it's only 720, but it does look pretty good. Uh, we can give it a globe test. <laughs> And you'll note that it does see things pretty well and there's actually very little lag uh, on our system. So here I am checking it out. I can go, I can zoom, I can see what's going on pretty well. So overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with the 720 high definition video and the 130 degree field of view on the iSmart Alarm spot camera. So here I am checking out the night vision on the iSmart Alarm spot camera. And it's honestly pretty impressive. It's got four infrared LEDs that really liven up that 720 video quality. We go ahead and give it a little globe test. You can see what's going on pretty well. So this is me checking out the iSmart Alarm spot camera in night vision. All right, so now it's time to learn the fate of our beloved iSmart Alarm Premier Home Security Package. And if you've been paying attention, I think you know where I'm going with this because I'm a pretty positive person, you know? I like to see the good in everything, but I do not think I can, in good faith, recommend that you buy the iSmart Alarm Premier Home Security Package. Um, if you read some of the customer reviews, uh, people's experiences with the customer support team seem to be pretty uniformly negative and it doesn't seem to do the smart part of smart security all that well. Now what could make me say that, yeah, this is right for you? Well, maybe if you're just trying to buy about a $150 home security system that is quite robust with contact sensors and motion sensors and a camera in your Cube One hub, it can do that, especially if you're someone who wants to integrate with Amazon Alexa or even if you have the iCamera Keep Pro home security camera already, which works really well. Now, that being said, upon reflection, I would state that you may want to just take a moment, sit back, and really think about if you want the iSmart Alarm home security system and if it can meet all the needs of you and your family. So that concludes our review of the iSmart Alarm Premier Home Security Package. If you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe Security Baron. Be secure.